if you have heard of this village, it's a small village uh, in the south of Catalonia, and actually uh, to go against the crisis that we just planned, which involves uh, cannabis, the growing of cannabis, and also the uh, fact of doing a research program around cannabis. And I was wondering, how do you feel about it? Do you think if it's a good idea for the crisis, as, a, a, as an entrepreneur as you are, what would be your advice to them to go for it? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, personally, I think, I, I think it's a good idea. I think um, uh, you know, Spain uh, has uh, financial problems, particularly amongst young people. And, um, and, and any, anything you can do to overcome uh, your financial problems, um, I personally think it's a good idea. Um, I'm, I'm actually here uh, with the much like um, Global Drug Commission hat on. Um, uh, the Global Drug Commission was set up two years ago by President Cardozo, in, um, who used to be President of Brazil. Um, and on the Global Drug Commission, you have uh, 12 ex presidents of South America. Uh, you have Kofi Annan, who used to be uh, drug of the United Nations. Uh, you have Paul Volcker and George Schultz from, um, from America, um, ex Secretary of State. Uh, you have the, the uh, Prime Minister of Greece. Um, and you have myself as a, as a businessman on the, on the Commission. And we spent the last two years looking at uh, the global war on drugs. Um, and, uh, and and having studied the global war on drugs, uh, we've seen the enormous amount of misery that that's caused. Um, in South America, um, thousands of people have been killed uh, in, the, in the brutal war on drugs to try to stop the importation of drugs into America, where the big, the big demand is. Um, in America, there are more black people in prison in America today, um, uh, one, one and a half million, uh, uh, prisoners are now in, in prison in America for drug, you know, for taking drugs, and and, uh, and more, more black people in prison than were slaves when slavery was abolished in America. Um, enormous amount of misery, misery caused in America, uh, particularly in the ethnic minority uh, communities. And um, in the Far East, you have people executed for a smoking goat. Uh, um, uh, and put into prison for life for, 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 for a smoke to go. Um, uh, and uh, so the, the Global Drug Commission has said that throughout the world, uh, all, all, all drugs should be decriminalized. Nobody should ever be put into prison for taking drugs. Um, uh, you know, if my brother or sister has a drug problem, I would want them to be helped. If my children have a drug problem, I'd want them to be helped. If they have a drink problem, I'd want them to be helped. If they smoke too many cigarettes, I want them to be helped. So, um, and you know, 225 million of the 250 million people who smoke cannabis uh, or, or, or take drugs in the world do not have a problem. They, they, uh, they use drugs like um, ad ad adults use drink, and, they, and, and like other people, you know, that it is their choice of drugs. So uh, it's only a, a very small minority of people who actually have a, have a problem. Um, and no 